Ladies and gents, I'm here with this week's Webmaster of the Week, Regan Difford. And Regan's a very interesting story. Um, it's one that I was really excited to share with all of you, and it's been an awesome journey for Regan this far. So, Regan and I started well back in, what was it, January last year? January. So, January 2020, um, 18 months ago. And I clearly remember you sent me a message to say, you, you have no golfing history, you, you're looking to start the game, and your sort of uh, mindset was you wanted to see if this game was sort of like it's something that you want to do in the future, you know? So, no golf history, we started our lessons, and just sort of fast forwarding 18 months, um, not only is Regan a member of the golf club, she's got a, a new sort of golf course for herself through the shop. Uh, she's um, playing some excellent golf, most recently shooting an 87, which was unbelievable to hear. She's just um, won the first couple of rounds in her winter knockout um, uh, matches. So it's all on the on an upward trajectory for Regan. So Regan, take us back to the very beginning. I know I've touched on it slightly, but how has your journey been so far? Well, it's been great. Um, definitely the best thing I ever did for myself was to start golf. It's such a fabulous uh, game and I've met such amazing people. And yeah, and as you said, I, I really just wanted to start it properly. So through a coach, I didn't want to just go on to, you know, trying to teach myself how to swing or how to hit the ball and get myself into some bad habits. So, I mean, the best thing I did was just come and chat to you and I think taking it slow in the beginning and, you know, I really put my mind to, you know, just lessons in the beginning, twice a week, um, which obviously I was very committed to and, um, yeah, and then I think, I think I said to you, I didn't want to buy clubs up until like maybe after five weeks until yeah. I, know, I knew I could actually hit the ball and I, you know, maybe got some talent for, for this game and, yeah, and then I ordered the clubs through um through the shop here and you know they the beginner sets and they're really really nice i'm still very happy with them um and yeah you guys did that whole simulator thing to tell me what clubs would be right for me so that definitely helped a lot um just you've got to feel confident with the club in your yeah. hand um yeah so that was great and ever since then i think well, we did lessons until Timbo or yeah. something like that. Good part of eight months, yeah. Eight months yeah. and um, yeah, and then just started playing. Brilliant. Awesome. And I think the, the one thing that I really want to touch on with you today is there's so many golfers out there that are so scared to take that leap of faith. To, so they get so accustomed to just golf lessons and having a coach standing over them and uh, telling them that, look, this is what you're doing wrong, this is what you need to do to hit the ball better. Um, and this is another conversation that you and I had, you know, you were so skeptical about getting out of the golf course and we always talked about how you need to jump into the deep end. Um, how is that sort of transition for you, sort of going away from the lessons to now, okay, cool, I'm going to get out there and play. Because now you're playing, what, once, twice a week, you're playing with all the different members on a weekly basis, you're, you're stuck in. But obviously that initial transition phase must have been difficult, right? Very petrifying, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think... I think you said to me at one point you you kind of laid out the whole the things that we needed to work on with my swing and we did like the full circle and then at the end of that uh, you said to me you know it's time to kind of get out there and I mean it was, it was nerve-wracking for sure but then there was the you know the the beginners league which really helped and sure. the um the chip and sip which helped just get up onto the course and just start chatting to people and meeting people and also understanding that it's everyone cares about their own game. They don't really care about your sure. game that much. So you, you know, you just need to put yourself out there, and even if you're nervous and you duff shots and you you look silly on the course, yeah. um, just to try your best, and that gave me a lot of confidence. And um, quite shortly after that, um, I joined the club, which was the best thing I could have done because you know the members all invited me, and we all started chatting up at the clubhouse and. You just naturally start getting invited to play games and your confidence just builds slowly and slowly and then you eventually realize oh my gosh i'm actually i'm actually playing i'm, I'm actually playing proper golf not just yeah. like beginner golf so yeah that was um and that all helped yeah brilliant that's it's so cool for me as a coach to hear so yeah it's been for me it's been awesome helping you along this journey and playing a role in it and 
the club's lucky to have you and it's, it's awesome to see how much golf you're playing, how passionate you are and uh, thanks for doing this. Thank you. Awesome, Regan. Well done. Thank you.